normally at the end of every month, I go through all the footage that I shot and try to make some YouTube videos out of it. And a lot of the times I end up with a bunch of different, very sporadic clips from different times of the month. In today's video, I just wanna share kind of all of the photos that I took in the month of March or different projects that I worked on. And it's a nice excuse to kind of just sit here, share some images with you and talk about the process of making them. March was a great month for me, a lot of interesting photos, a lot of terrible ones as well. So let's get into it. This is photos I took in March. My month started off in a really fun way by sharing some images of Randall Park that I had shot for The New Yorker. This was my second New Yorker commission. The first one was Kevin Nealon, but this was the first time that I was in print in the New Yorker, which is a huge honor. And I was really excited to do this shoot of Randall Park, who is an incredible actor and he just made his directorial debut. Who are you? <sighs> Who am I? I'm Jim. We've been working together for 12 years. <laughs> We're Jug Dwight. And I spent an hour at his house a few days earlier, just photographing him in his garden, in his front yard, kind of just trying to capture these natural little moments of him. Um, the image that made it into print was him watering his plants, which was super fun. It's just a great way to kind of have him do something natural and it makes the photos feel just so much less posed. Another fun little moment was when his neighbor came home and he kind of just waved at his neighbor and said, hey, how you doing? kind of thing, and uh, we had him recreate that for an image as well, and I think that turned out nice. It looks awesome in print, seeing an image of mine in the New Yorker magazine is surreal, and I just wanna thank Giada and Joanna at the New Yorker for making this possible. I shot with my strobe, and I shot both film and digital. One interesting thing was I submitted 21 photos to them, 20 of them were film, one of them was digital, and guess which image made it into print? The one digital photo that I sent. So I think that's awesome. Going forward, that might just be the way to go for these kinds of projects because the last New Yorker shoot I did was all digital as well. And it worked out really nice. I love the colors out of the GFX and particularly in the image that they chose. I think it works really nice. Beautiful greens, the skin tones look great. And there's this nice little evening light happening in the background. Randall was incredible as well. He was super down to do whatever. He was obviously very kind to have us at his home, which makes all the difference in terms of just adding a little bit more of a personal touch to the images. It's his front yard. It's his flowers. Another set of photos I want to share from this month that I was kind of pleased with were these images I posted on Instagram of a fire happening in Los Angeles. And the backstory to this is that I was down south taking some photos with my friend. We were making some landscapes. And on the way home on the highway, we saw kind of a giant cloud of smoke coming up and it looked really close. So we pulled off on the highway and we were still kind of in this photo mindset from taking landscapes um, earlier in the day. And we, we just followed the smoke and came across this fire. And it was surreal because there was nobody there. It was just kind of us watching this fire happening. And at first we kind of looked at each other and we were like, you know, what do we do here? It was just a trash fire. There was nobody involved, thankfully. And so we were kind of just watching this fire happening and we could hear the sirens in the distance. And I think just from being in the mindset of taking photos earlier in the day and our cameras were just right there, we just started photographing the fire happening and as the fire department pulled up from a respectful distance, we continued taking some pictures of it. As the fire department came in, we initially were photographing from, you know, quite far away. We did not want to intervene. I have a lot of respect for this line of work. My girlfriend's dad is a firefighter. And so we started taking these photos from far away. And slowly, as we started talking to some of them, we realized they were totally cool with us being there. We moved in a little closer, took a lot more images. 
And it was a really interesting experience just getting to watch them do their job and photographing it. It all happened so quick as well. Like it was over the course of just a few minutes and I just shot, I think, two full rolls of 120. It was instinctual. I was trying to find some interesting little details to make the photos a little more visually interesting, whether that was the fire truck being in there or the hoses kind of crossing in an interesting pattern. I printed all of these images in the dark room and I think that gave them kind of that extra nice little look. Photographing the fire department specifically in LA is something I would love to do more of in the future. They were so kind and so welcoming and they clearly understood that we appreciated what they were doing. And so it was this fun dynamic of photographing them at work. So that was a cool little impulsive side project, just a good example of being ready at the right time for something to happen as well, and then just photographing it as it presented itself. I did a lot of darkroom printing this month, which was really fun as well, and I wanna share some of that because it's a really fun process, but I specifically printed some of the images from my snowy trip up north, which I posted a video about on the channel, and when I posted that video, I didn't like any of the images. I just wasn't super happy with them, and. They just weren't doing it for me. So a lot of the times when I get scans like that um, and I make a video like that, I'll revisit the images later by printing them in the dark room. When I take photos like that and put them in a video, it's for the video. And so when I go back and reprint them later, it kind of feels like revisiting the images for myself. I printed a few of them and posted them on Instagram and I think just that final 5% of difference when it came to the prints really made the images for me. It was a nice opportunity to think how they could sit together sequenced. And it's also interesting comparing the scans to the print. It's like not even that much difference, but a lot of the time for me, it's also just spending the time with the images in the darkroom and thinking about what they mean to me and what they're for. So for me, these photos were just about the snow and the weather and this kind of unique climate that I think a lot of people who aren't in California don't necessarily associate with this state. And I think when I revisit the images like this, it's a good time for me to think about them in terms of what they mean instead of thinking about them in terms of filling a YouTube video. I do this a lot of the time when I make a YouTube video. When I post the video, you'll see scans and then later I'll revisit them and kind of just really think about the photos and think about what worked and what didn't and just print the successful ones. It's a good exercise for me and it's a nice way to separate my images from the YouTube videos for me personally. And so I just wanted to share those prints. think is there anything else that went down this month let's see i actually just got back from two back-to-back -back days of taking photos one was a press shoot for an artist and the other is for a car magazine so i can't share those yet but look out for those in the future I wanted to share some images with you guys hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and finally thank you to squarespace for sponsoring this video squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online i've been using squarespace for so many years now and they've made it so easy to get a website up and running so if that sounds like something you're interested in you can hit the link in my description for a 14-day free trial of squarespace and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.